Other shelters opened once again tonight in Austin as temperatures plunge. The mayor says a record number of people have already stayed in the shelters. KXAN's Brianna Hollis shows us how the city uses new resources to try and connect these individuals to long term support. Another bitter cold night means the city once again welcomed people at one Texas center to find them a bed in one of Austin's several cold weather shelters. This year, the Homeless Strategy Division has new measures in place to try and make sure that help doesn't stop as temperatures go back up. While cold weather shelter is meant to be an emergency response, it also allows us to connect with a lot of the individuals who maybe we haven't connected with. This year, Texas nonprofit, the Austin Area Urban League, staffed the shelters with workers who have an expertise in connecting unhoused individuals with more permanent solutions. We've had instances where someone will come into cold weather shelter and a community provider comes and finds them and says, I've been looking for you. I've got a housing resource for you. Let's get to work. Is there a plan to measure that process to see how many individuals have been able to get help through this process? Yeah, I guess the answer is kind of, we don't have a specific plan to measure that, but I think that we're always looking at how cold weather shelter can both be an emergency response and provide that link to continued services. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. And we plan to follow up in a few weeks just to get a better idea of how many people staying at the shelters are connected with long-term help via the city. Now, we also reached out to the Esperanza community in Southeast Austin. That is the site calling itself a non-congregate emergency shelter. We showed you just last spring the tiny houses now on that site. The Other Ones Foundation, the nonprofit that helps run the community, notes during these cold temperatures, everyone is staying in climate controlled individual shelters. No one has to move off site to another shelter. They add, in addition to heat, there's a day use area with computers, mail access and case management services. However, the community lists online, they are currently at capacity and not accepting new applications. And Austin will soon take a closer look at how it deals with the homeless population. At today's Austin City Council work session, city leaders talked about a plan to hire a company to do a comprehensive review of what the city has done so far to help the homeless. The review is meant to look at how effective the current strategy is and evaluate spending. Council member Mackenzie Kelly has been pushing for an audit since last year, something her fellow council members supported today. I think this is going to be uh, a really valuable look by, by McKenzie to figure out how we can best and most effectively and efficiently uh, serve this population. And the city council will vote on the proposal during their Thursday meeting. If the plan is approved, the report should be finished as soon as April.